Are you looking for the best strategy for your cybersecurity career path? If you're watching this video, then you're probably either trying to break into cybersecurity or you're already working in the industry and you want to advance to the top. In this video, we're going to talk about the best strategy for your cybersecurity career. But first, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is John Good, and on this channel, we talk all about cybersecurity. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to check out the description for more training and resources. All right, let's do this. One of the things that I see frequently in the cybersecurity career field is that people are always trying to seek the best path to follow. It makes sense. If we can eliminate wasting time on mistakes that won't get us where we want to go, then why wouldn't we? With that being said, people ask successful professionals about the path that they took, and then they try to follow that path exactly expecting the exact same results. Unfortunately, it's not that easy, and most of the time the results end up differently. But why is that? A big point that I wanna get across to you is that if you ask somebody that's been in the cybersecurity career field for 15 years about their path, you're gonna see drastic differences because for example, technologies like the cloud weren't even a thing until much more recently. 15 years ago, it was all about on-premise solutions and having these massive data centers. So that's what people focused on. Even as little as five years ago, you could be looking at some large differences in career paths. These drastic changes are what makes cybersecurity both challenging, but also rewarding. And all that keeps us engaged in the career field. I wanna to talk to you about things that can help you evolve your career path as you progress. And that way, if things change, you're good to go. This is kind of like that old saying that if you teach somebody to fish, they can eat for a lifetime. But don't worry, I'm not going anywhere though. This is just to help you out. The first thing is simple. What's going on in the news today regarding cybersecurity? You can gain a lot of insight by just reading articles in the news to see what's happening right now. Maybe there's a major health issue that's happening and all companies are switching to the cloud. Okay, well, cloud needs to be a focus. Anyways, you get the idea. Some of the popular news locations include darkreading.com, SANS, and Twitter, but I would also check out my new channel, Cybersecurity TLDR, which is also a podcast format, where we talk a lot about the cybersecurity news. Second, look at job postings. You can learn a lot about the industry from job postings because you'll see popular technologies and even certain focuses by just reading through these job searches. You don't even have to actually apply to these jobs if you don't want to, but you can see how things are evolving. I tend to look at Indeed.com and LinkedIn because at least in the United States, those seem to be the most reliable. Third, look at cybersecurity conferences. There are so many conferences that exist that you can either attend or a lot of them will post videos on YouTube and you can watch them after the conference. Watch these because they tend to have relatively cutting edge research and they can keep you up to date with what's current in the industry. Fourth, network with other people in the industry. There are cybersecurity organizations like ISC Squared, ISACA, OWASP, where you can actually go to chapter meetings in your local area and meet working professionals. A lot of times there'll be presentations like at conferences, but you can learn more about what's going on with your local companies and potentially even meet hiring managers. This is the only one that we've talked about so far that might cost you a little bit because of the membership, but especially if you're a student, these memberships can be dirt cheap or free. All the things that we talked about don't require a massive amount of time and energy, but they can help you shape your career path with what's currently happening and what's needed in the industry. To be successful in cybersecurity, you always need to be looking forward about improving your career or improving your organization's security and not looking backwards, except to learn what you can do better and not repeat issues. The best career path strategy is gonna be the one that can identify trends and then start to learn and include those trends and technologies in all that you do. It's not some crazy secret about how you can do these certain things or get these certain certifications and then all of a sudden you're magically gonna get into cybersecurity. Question of the day, what's your dream job in cybersecurity? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked about the best strategy for your cybersecurity career. Remember, the best strategy is the one that can identify trends and include those trends as your career progresses. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more training and resources, and I'll see you next time.